Right, in this video, I'm going to show you a different way how to multiply matrices instead of the traditional way shown in the first video. In this one, we are going to use a method called the zip up method, where looking at the problem above, we have the matrix right here, as well as this other matrix right here we are going to multiply with. So I'm going to start our recording. All right. If you look at the dimensions, our first one is a 2 by 3, because we have two rows and one, two, three columns. Our second one has one, two, three rows, one, two columns, making it a 3 by 2. The 2 in the middle here, the two threes, they do match, which means we can do the multiplication. Now, to set up our zip up method, our first matrix is going to be written off to the side by itself. Then up above it, slightly leaving a gap, we're going to write our second matrix we're going to multiply by. In this gap that forms right here is where our resulting answer matrix is going to go. And just like before, as you can see, we have our brackets. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four spaces that we're going to fill by doing our multiplication. We're going to start with space one. And so just like before, we're going to start with the first of the row and the top of the column. We're going to start from the outside and work our way in. So you think eight times three is 24. We're going to add to it two times one, which is two and then seven times four is 28. Add all together, we get 54. So for the next position, we have eight times two, which should be 16. Two times five is 10. Seven times negative seven is negative 49, and we add all three together, and we should end up with negative 23. Now that we're done with the top row, we're gonna move on to the bottom. So it works the same way. So five times three is 15. Negative four times one is negative four. Zero times four is zero, and add together is 11. And we're going to do the last same deal for our last entry. We end up with negative 10. And sometimes it's a little messy trying to read it here, so we're going to rewrite it and make it nice and pretty. So our resulting answer matrix, our 2 by 2, is 54, negative 23, 11, and negative 10.